Almost every health and nutrition expert agrees that ultra processed foods are bad for you, but we're noticing this weird anomaly in the carnivore community that I wanted to inform you about. I think you'll be very interested in this. So some researchers got together and they came up with this rating or classification system of ultra processed foods called the NOVA system. And here's a graphic representation of that. And basically their hypothesis is that the less processed the food is, the better it is for you, the more nutritious it is, and the less inflammatory it is. And overall, I agree with the underlying hypothesis of that. So there are basically two types of food that you can grind up and process and turn into either actual real food or food-like products. So you can have plants that you can grind up and turn into things like potato chips and Lucky Charms, uh, other breakfast cereals, tortillas, bread, or you can grind up and highly process meat. So it seems like when you, the more you grind up and process plants, wheat, rice, oats, corn, and indeed all plants, seeds, nuts, the more inflammatory they become, the less healthy they become, the more uh, glucose and insulin spiking they become. But there's this weird thing that we're seeing in the carnivore community where literally tens of thousands of people are using highly processed meats to improve their health. And so when you highly process, in other words, you take a lot of cuts of meat and you grind them up and you add some spices and some salt, maybe you cure that meat with nitrates, uh, you still have a healthy food product. It's almost like you can't destroy the nutrition and the health giving benefits of meat by highly processing it. And so there are many people in the carnivore community who cannot afford to eat porterhouse steaks, ribeye steaks, T-bone steaks each and every day of their life. They cannot not afford pastured pork, pastured chicken or, or chicken eggs. They can't afford these things. And so what they wind up eating is a carnivore diet that consists of bologna, uh, hot dogs, spam, and other uh, things like that. And so there are many people that their knee jerk response is, oh, that's bad for you. That's highly processed. You can't do that. That'll kill you. That'll cause cancer. Uh, I've got a video on this channel about does processed meat actually cause cancer or not? Is bacon bad for you? And so you might want to check that video out. But what we're seeing is people coming to the carnivore diet because they have type two diabetes. They have fatty liver. They're morbidly obese, severely obese, and all they can afford is bologna and hot dogs and, and potted meat, canned meats, canned tuna, canned salmon. That's all they can afford. They cannot afford grass-finished, grass-fed, panda massage steaks every day. And these people are using these cheap, highly processed meats to reverse their obesity, to reverse their type 2 diabetes, to reverse their fatty liver. Tens of thousands of people and so it's almost like you cannot remove the health giving benefits of meat, no matter how much you grind it up, no matter how many spices or salt or pepper or nitrates that you add, the meat is still better for you, even when it's highly processed than our plant-based foods. Now, if you're in the boat of reversing chronic medical conditions with a carnivore diet, but all you can afford is bologna and hot dogs, uh, fear not. What I want you to do is be a, a ingredient list detective. You're going to buy the best quality bologna and hot dogs and other highly processed meat that you can afford. You're going to get the, the meats with the lowest amount of sugar, the lowest amount of carbohydrates, and you're going to eat that meat when you're hungry and you're going to eat until you're completely full. And don't worry that this somehow, since you can't afford $25 a pound ribeye, don't worry that you're hurting your health by doing this. You are improving your health. The, the most highly processed, cheapest meat that you can afford is a thousand times better for you than anything made by Kellogg's or Kraft Heinz or Mondelez. So you are doing your health a net benefit by eating this highly processed meat. Do not be afraid of that. Do not think you're harming yourself more than you're hurting yourself. Many experts out there would include deli meat and uh, pepperoni and beef jerky in the category of highly processed foods. 
but the problem with them believing that is that these foods are still very, very healthy for you and they are much better choices than anything else that you'll find in the middle of the supermarket that consists of highly ground up, highly processed plant foods. So if you'd really like to give the carnivore diet a try, but all that you can currently afford due to your financial situation is bacon, sausage, hot dogs, bologna, canned meat, lunch meat, do it. You are going to reverse your obesity. You're gonna reverse your type two diabetes. You're gonna reverse your fatty liver. You're gonna lower your blood pressure. You're gonna lower your levels of chronic inappropriate inflammation by eating these foods and buying the best quality that you can afford, the lowest sugar, the lowest carbohydrate counts you can afford, by, and also by avoiding all of the highly processed, actually harmful plant-based foods. Hope this video helps. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.